What's happening to YouTube? It's your boy Gabo, and we back with another one. Remember, I rock with you if you rock with me. Subscribe is the vibe, man. Subscribe to the channel because your boy's on the road to 4K. Humbly. Yo, uh, Tom is probably on the move, bro. I think we just saw his last season um, as a Tampa Bay Buck. Like, now they're talking about him potentially. Like, they're talking about the 49ers interested. Yo, bro, if the 49ers end up getting Tom, I don't know what y'all about to do with Trey. Because Trey ain't starting off with Tom if that's the case. You know what I mean? So, it is what it is, but... It wasn't the most beautiful season. It wasn't one of those he was walking away from the sunset. Yo, bro, I don't know what Tom has to do anymore. I don't know what Tom wants to do anymore, bro. The man has seven Super Bowls, 10 Super Bowl appearances, all the passing records in the regular season and passing touchdown records in the postseason and regular season. Like, the dude, there's nothing left to be done. Like, there's literally nothing left to be done. It's universally recognized that he's the GOAT. No one's really debating that. And I don't know. Like, I, I'm, I I don't know what he's chasing anymore, bro. I don't know if he's chasing lucky number eight. I don't know if he still feels like he's still got something to prove. But I, listen, man, like, the dude don't look like he retired. So all we're going to hear throughout the offseason is where Aaron Rodgers is going and where Tom Brady going. So if he goes to the 49ers, I ain't going to front. Yo, yo, 49ers, y'all might have to make room for your boy. Now, I'm still I'm still going to bleed New England. But I'm, a, I'm definitely going to be tuning into every game if y'all get time bomb. Nah, it just, it just is what it is. It's like, wherever time go, your boy go. It is what it is. No shame in it. Um, but yeah, bro, like, the man has nothing to prove. He has nothing to prove. But we're going to get right into it. It's the talk of the time right now. 49ers might. 49ers might be the spot for Tom Brady to get one last ring before retiring. If he even retires, bro. This dude probably played till 50. We don't know. But let's see what they got to say about it. Max Kellerman, welcome to this Just In A Fast Hour around the world of sports and how I and some of my friends here see it. That is Dan Graziano, Coach Herm Edwards, and ESPN.com's Bill Barnwell will also join us. And we begin with the quarterback room in San Francisco. Who is going to be QB1? Let's take a look. Number three overall pick in 2021. Trey Lance broke his fibula in September, since undergone two surgeries to repair his ankle. Damn, two? Jimmy Garoppolo is recovering from a broken foot, officially becomes a free agent. He threw for 16 TDs against four picks in his 11 games before going down Talk about with the injury. Just, you know, it just hit me that the 49ers lost three quarterbacks in one season? In what? No, four. E e even that bum-ass number 17 who y'all put in Johnson against the Eagles got hurt. Yo, this... I What's in y'all water? What's in what's in that bay water, bro? Like y'all 49ers, ah, what a tough break. Trey Lance barely even got started in his NFL career and he had two surgeries. I don't even want to count the amount of surgeries that Jimmy Garoppolo had. You know what I'm saying? And now Brock Purdy needs surgery. Oh, it's a y'all might as well go after go at this point, bro. Y'all y'all gonna have to break the bank and knowing Brady will probably give you a little discount. I mean, you know what I'm saying? But my goodness. And then there's Brock Purdy, who came onto the scene after Jimmy G Your went UCL, down, exceeded expectations, right elbow, but in the, the conference hell? title game, he suffered a tour UCL that may require Tommy John surgery. Then there is this from an anonymous NFL executive on the Niners quarterback situation. Quote, I think they will trade Trey Lance to Tennessee. They'll end up with Brady, and Brady will play for one year for his home team, and they will have Brock Purdy as the backup. That's the chatter. They have the defense already. Brady wants Jeez, to win one. They're trying to get rid of Trey Lance. Oh, y'all gotta let me know what y'all think about that. Damn, they're trying to get rid of your boy before he even got started. But I ain't gonna front. Tennessee's gonna have to open up, you know, a nice little package. You know what I mean? That boy's a first round pick, and y'all did move heaven and earth to get him, son. Y'all moved like four or five picks to get Trey Lance, and now he might be on the way out. But I mean, it's the GOAT. You know, you might have a chance at Tom Bomb, bro. More. Oh, no. This is right up the 49ers alley. And there, where is he? There's head coach Herm Edwards and senior NFL writer Bill Barnwell. Graz, I'm going to start with you. What is the latest on the 49ers plan that you're that you're hearing for quarterback next yeah, season? Th there's a lot of speculation, right? And I mean, the 49ers season just ended two days ago, and they were expecting it to still be continuing. So they haven't really made a plan. I think when they, they you look at what's on their roster, the expectation is that Garoppolo will leave. He's a free agent. They can't franchise him or anything. Uh, of course, the expectation last year was that he would leave, and he didn't. Uh, so you never know. But the, uh, Trey Lance and Brock Purdy will be on the roster. How healthy they will be remains to be seen. If healthy enough, 
you could foresee a situation where those two guys open camp in a competition to see who can be the starter. But there's the veteran element. Do you go out and pursue a Tom Brady? Does he want to keep playing? And if so, does he want to play for the 49ers? He do. Can you get? Can you make a call and get Aaron Rodgers from the Green Bay Packers? I think the 49ers know that they are a place where quarterbacks want to play. I think they know that they're a team that is probably, you know, uh, literally one healthy quarterback away from maybe being in the. Man, Super I'm gonna keep it a bean, bro. For everybody that want to say, "Yo, Tom, look old. He should walk into the sunset." This is considered a down year for Tom, bro. This dude, 66 percent completions, 4,694 passing yards, 25 touchdowns to nine picks, bro. This is what we're talking about when we say he got to retire. 25 and nine. I know. I know about 20 teams that would take 25 and nine from their quarterback. The Cowboys. You know what I'm saying? The Vikings. The Giants. Like, you know what I mean? Like, 25 and nine. That's him in his worst year. Oh. Super Bowl right now. Uh, so I think they'll explore all options, veteran and, uh, and, and, and their young guys internally as well. Maybe, but Brock Purdy didn't get hurt by accident. The Eagles' pass rush did that, and Trent sure. Williams, as great as he is, at left yes. tackle, they have a little issue on the offensive line. There's some weak spots yeah, there they need yeah, right. to address. There are very few teams that don't need to address their offensive line. Obviously, it'll be a priority for the 49ers this offseason, regardless of what they're right. doing at quarterback. Now, I, as I keep saying, it's like a modern pitching staff in baseball. You need five starters, then you need three kind of fungible guys who can play mm -hmm. all over the line nowadays. Bill, who do you think is going to be the Niners starting quarterback week one, 2023? Max, I believe it is going to be Trey Lance because – we haven't seen what Trey Lance can do first and foremost. And second, let's go back to when yeah, they I, traded for Trey Lance even got a in the first place. It wasn't just a casual deal. They traded three, three first round picks to go out and get Trey Lance. That tells me Cal Shanahan thought Trey Lance was going to be a superstar. We've only seen a handful of starts from Trey Lance, even if they do want to trade him again. Realistically, what are they going to get that's going to make up for the Next haul they is. sent to Holy. get him in the first place? So to me, I think unless Trey Lance can't play, unless he's injured, unless they get some I ain't crazy offer. Y'all going to have to get that same deal back. I ain't going front, bro. I don't see how Tom Brady, like, because, bro, first round pick, 2021, 12 overall, 2022, first and third, 2023, first round pick for a kid that barely even played and, and already had two ankle surgeries. Like, nah, bro. Nah, like if they don't get that same package or something close to that same package, I don't see them going after Tom Brady because because you're only going to have Brady for a season and you would have to guarantee a Super Bowl in this man's what, 22nd year? You know what I'm saying? He would have to guarantee a Super Bowl in order for that move to even make sense where Trey Lance has still has his entire career ahead of him, bro. Like, unless Tennessee is willing to give up that same package, I don't see how the 49ers do. I'm just, you know, I'm just, you know, it's just my opinion, bro. From a team like Tennessee, this offseason, I think they go back to Trey Lance at least to start the year if Brock Purdy's on 100%. Coach, as Graz has said, you know, it's uh, the reason Trey Lance is there in the first place is because Shanahan sees Josh Allen and goes, whew, if I had one of them guys, right? I, Garoppolo, like, I... So if he does go to Brady, great, I mean, the, the GOAT, right? Even now, if he has a loaded team, you think he could do something. But that's not one of those guys. That's a stationary quarterback who's going to get rid of the ball quick. N yes, but not do all the athletic things that Shanahan's looking for. I get what Bill Barnwell is saying here. What do you think, Coach? That's a good point. I think you get all three of them, and you bring in <laughs> Tom Brady. Why that's wouldn't you? Mm. That's what you do. You don't have to let those guys go. Who, who, who made that rule up that you got to let them go? They're under contract. You got two young quarterbacks. Sheesh. You bring in Tom Brady, your chances of winning the Super Bowl way, way up with him playing quarterback. Look, the, the San Francisco hey, 49ers, hey, hey. believe it or not, when you think about it, their quarterbacks can't stay healthy. No. The healthiest guy they got if they get, is Tom Brady. He never misses games, and he's 45 years old. They got all these young guys, and every time I turn around, one of them's getting hurt. Shanahan said it himself after the game. Yeah. Can I get a quarterback that can just stay healthy? <laughs> yeah, the 45-year-old going to be 46? Yeah. He's always healthy. He answers the he's bell every time. That's Coach, you are so <laughs> yeah, right. I, I think you, he's I sick, think you, man. And Bill and Graz, I think Coach is exactly right because if you keep everyone, 
and Brock Purdy is going to be the guy. Okay, he's studying under Tom Brady, and you give Trey Lance another year to develop with Tom Brady there to see if you can get the guy. What's the downside? You burn a roster spot. You know what? Uh, this team can afford to burn a roster spot on a quarterback, especially given all the injuries. Coach, you're so right. This is the NFL. They signed a contract. They can't go anywhere. This is not college football. They can't go in the portal. <laughs> they have to stay there. <laughs> Tough luck. That's Trey the way Lance it works. Go the portal. Got to be careful. When it comes to football, bro, one philosophy that I've heard time and time again, and it's the realest philosophy I've ever heard in my life, the best ability is availability. It doesn't matter what you gave up for Trey Lance. The boy can't play. He can't play not because he physically can't. Well, no, damn, physically he can't play. Well, he, I was like, it's not because he lacks talent, but he's not available. Brock Purdy, Mr. Irrelevant, now becoming relevant. The biggest game of the year, he goes out. And listen, I'm not going to blame this guy for getting hurt. The man tore his UCL. I've never even heard that in a day in my life, but it is what it is. Apparently, that's a ligament somewhere in your elbow, and it might require Tommy John surgery. And I think that's one of those, you, you don't ever, you're never really the same if you have to have that surgery. So it is, uh, it, that, that's a tough spot for a kid. You know what I'm saying? But. Man, like, the dude is 45, and he might arguably be your healthiest quarterback. You just need time for one game. That defense, that th those offensive weapons, that defense, th they're going to win. Th that team could win about eight games on their own and 12 games with Tom Bond. I believe that. I believe that. Twenty, Like, you introduced 25 touchdowns and nine picks. Nine picks? To that San Francisco 49ers unit? Bro, you're, you're going to the NFC title game. You just need Tom Brady to play that one game. And I feel like with the go at him, bro, y'all might finally break through, bro. Because some, what was it, four or five years, the 49ers been in the NFC title game or close to it? It seems like Kyle, Kyle Shanahan's been, like, scratching at the door, but, you know, it keeps getting rejected. And come on, bro, when you keep losing your quarterbacks or, you know, you have to deal with Jimmy Garoppolo, it, it's, it's a tough pill. It's a tough pill. But y'all let me know in the comment section, do you think the GOAT is going to San Francisco? Or you think he's just going to walk into the sunset? I personally think, give him one more year. I like him one more year. You know what I'm saying? Let's make those records and them stats really, really out of distance because Patrick Mahomes is on the heels somewhere. Well, not really, but appreciate you guys for tuning in. I rock with you if you rock with me. Subscribe to the vibe, man. Your boy's on the road to 4K. I'm going to get there, but I'm going to get there quicker with your support, man. Yeah, both. Hey. Mamba out.